Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about how to schedule a notification in our Flutter app. Basically, in the previous video, which we posted a week before, we discussed about how we can trigger a local push notification in our Flutter app upon a button press event. Right? Hope you all remember that. If anybody is new to this video or if anyone has missed that video, I recommend you to go check the previous video first. Since this video is going to be a continuation of the previous one, I am not going to explain the initial setup which we have already discussed. So I strongly recommend you to go check the previous video. I will also leave the link for the video the card at the top right as well as in the description. So in this video, we will be focusing on how to schedule a notification. Say for example, what we have here is a simple example of the same. We have a text button, basically a date time picker as you can see. And right now it is 5.45. Let me give it as 5.46. Okay. And if I click schedule notification, I now have a notification being scheduled for 5.46. Let me just wait for it. And as you can see that at 5.46 we get the notification being triggered automatically. So this is all about what we are about to discuss in this video. Therefore without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this feature in our Flutter app. Well for the daytime picker we will be making use of the package which is Flutter daytime picker. So make sure you add this Flutter daytime picker package in your pop spec and of course you need to add the Flutter local notification package as well for triggering the local notifications. After adding these two packages, let's move on to the main.dat file. Starting with the main.dat file, we need to initialize the time zones. So import that package as tz and initialize them inside the main method. Alright, so this is something which we need to do initially inside the main.dat file and after which let's move on to the my home page and here is where we will be writing the UL logic for rendering the data picker widget as well as the elevated button. First, let's have a body that is going to have a column that contains a list of children, basically two children. One is going to be the date time picker and the second is going to be the elevated button. Okay, first starting with the date time picker, it is going to be a stateful widget class as you can see and it is going to have a text button and inside the on press event we need to make use of the show date time picker method which we get as a result of the package installation inside the on change callback function just set the scheduled time as the date what we have selected from the date time picker okay so this is all about um, the date time picker and now let's move on to the elevated button and this is the elevated button what we have here and here inside this on press event of the elevated button we need to call a function called schedule notification so this is going to be a custom defined function which we will be writing down and say the notification services dot file and for this method this pass in the title body and the time to which the notification needs to be scheduled so right now this is all about the ui what we need to do inside the home page now let's try defining the schedule notification method Further, let's move on to the notification services dot file. And earlier, we used to have a method called show notification that will immediately trigger a notification upon the button press. Right now, we are dealing with the schedule notification. Therefore, let's create a separate function called schedule notification, and it is going to take the same set of parameters like the ID, title, payload, etc. And inside which we need to make use of the zone schedule method and pass in the same ID, title, body, etc. In addition to that, you need to pass in the date time. That is the date time which we get as a result of uh, the date time picker class. And after which, finally, you need to add the notification details. Of course, just the same like what we used to have here in the show notifications. You can also add other set of parameters. And finally, you need to make use of the time zones. So this is going to be the schedule notification method that will help us trigger the notification upon the scheduled date time. With this we complete entire process of scheduling a notification for the given date time. Let me refresh this app and let's select a particular time. It's 5.55. Let me turn it to 5.56 and trigger a schedule notification. At 5.56 we need to get a notification. You see at 5.56 we get a notification being triggered automatically. So this is all about how we can implement a scheduled notification here in our Flutter app in just few simple steps. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.